Hey guys, this is the XRP Cowboy, the one and only. Hey, this is Billy. And this is Rat, Wanted Man. I am liquidating my positions. Why am I liquidating my position? Computer off. Let's get down to business. You guys, you don't have to worry. My moonship is packed with XRP. We're not talking about XRP here. We got a lawsuit ending. The judge ordered that the SEC turns over the file files they're not gonna win they're gonna have to show these files and it's not happening you guys there's incriminating evidence the judge already said to the sec that you're looking out for your best interest and not ours well it's not really us it's you know the institutions that are invested xrp with all the money they're worried about that's what the sec who they're trying to protect but she said that so if these emails come out and there's anything shady, and they've only been doing shady shit from the beginning, <clears throat> we're talking people could get into some serious trouble. And that was her statement, not mine. And Billy is going to confirm because Billy believes this to be the truth because he believes in media and what they say. They would never lie to you on CNBC, regardless of what the Cowboys said. This court case is going to go. It's just noise, you guys. The Cowboys going to tell you. It's just noise. It's all a narrative. But this is what I'm liquidating. This is how I'm trading this market to give my family wealth, generational wealth. Is it possible in this space? Well, it's happened a lot. You know, I know people. My daughter keeps opening the door and she's eavesdropping on the cowboy. But um, so what I'm doing here is this is high risk. I'm trading 20% trades. You know, let's, I'm not going to tell you my bags, but they're pretty good. Let's say I have 100,000 VAT, V-Chain, because I like the project, and I want to be invested in it long. I made my money, you know, with VAT. My house, is, my house is paid off because of VAT, but I still got some skin in the game because I like VAT. Well, my average um, cost of, of what I sold VAT for was probably around the mid-30s, maybe 36 cents. You say, why did it go? That high because I didn't see it on the charts. Well, it's because I traded it, and it you know every couple pennies that I sold sold it and then bought back you know it turned into that. Traded a few times you know, but this is the point. What's the point, cowboy? I'll get to it. You got to pay the cost to listen to the boss, Billy. <laughs> uh, what a dumb fucking laugh, cowboy. Hey, it's no swearing on this channel. Trying to get better so the algorithms pick it up. Please like and subscribe. We'll get into this. What I'm doing is I'm um, trading it uh, 20%. First time I did it was like 16% on my VET. You know, I saw that we were in trading range with Bitcoin. So I applied that to VET and I, I looked at the highs, the lows for the week. And I said, okay, I'm going to sell it if it hits the high. And it did. It was like two and a half cents or something. But what's important is. You know, the idea came because I wanted to sell my vet because what I had um, owned, you know, I sold a bunch, but I still owned a lot and I bought it at an eighth of a cent. So I had huge gains when it was, you know, up in the 20s and I sold some. So I'm like, I got to offset that a little. So what happened was when it dropped, I decided to sell it, at, you know, because I did sell some and bought, I, well, I sold it all and bought it back a couple of times. So I have a high cost um, of vet you know, above 15 cents. So when it, you know, I, I was like, I got to sell some at two cents so I get the tax write off. Um, so ultimately what happened, if you need more information about that, just leave in the comments. Um, but um, 
you know, I decide to sell it, but I'm like, how can I make money selling it? So I decided to trade the whole bag that I have. So let's call it a hundred thousand. I sold it um, at twenty five. I bought it back twenty percent less, which gave me, you know, a hundred and sixteen thousand. You know, because I pulled the trigger a little early. But the last time I did it at twenty percent. So now I'm working on the third time, but um, so I I've already accumulated a lot. But let's just say I um, and it's more than this, but. Let's just say now I'm at twelve instead of a hundred thousand, a uh, um, hundred and twenty thousand. If I can do this three or four more times, my bags doubled. But this is a project I believe in, and I'm gonna own forever. But it's like a shit coin to me, you know. All I've never trade everything I've ever owned, I traded because I'm greedy. Um, except XRP. So XRP is not a part of the equation. But ultimately. You know, it only takes five trades at 20% with this volatility. But what I'm doing is, is I, I bought all these altcoins. I have an equal amount of money with the account value at the current day. And shit coins, anything that is an XRP, and I own some Bitcoin too. Um, I have 50% of XRP, the value, account value, versus 50% of the other stuff. So I always bought the other stuff to buy XRP. You know, I said, I'll make some money trading this stuff. And then throw in XRP, but I never have thrown it into XRP. And it has kind of been a blessing because I held on to VeChain a lot longer than I would have otherwise. But I'm um, not saying it won't go up, just saying I would have probably sold it, you know, you know, if I had a plan to put in XRP after 1X or 2X or 3X. But instead I got like, I don't know, what's it, 18,000% or something on it? I don't know what the math is. I haven't done it, but... It's a good thing, but here's the thing, guys. I, I want to, in girls, I got some ladies watching Cowboy, you know. That's why I do this. <laughs> I'm just fucking messing around, messing around, but here's the thing. And when I say ladies, it's when I force my wife and kids to watch my videos, the parts that are, like, not vulgar. Um, The thing is, is Billy needs to keep his mouth shut. People are going to think the Cowboy's a normal dude. Um, but the thing is this, um, I just need to do it a few more times and I doubled my bag and that plus I got the tax write off for selling it down, which I was going to do anyways, you know, but I was going to buy back instantly, but I'm like, why don't we see it's at the top of the Bitcoin trading range. It's probably going to come down and it has the problem is, is I believe unlike the world that. I think we're going to have some recovery coming soon. Yeah, it could retest that 70. And it might even go below it, um, K Bitcoin. But <clears throat> it could also just start going up. Any good news from the Fed this month? They might, they're going to raise it. But if they start throttling back, that could make it go up, you know? So it's, it's very volatile. It's like carrying a bucket. Of, I'm carrying a bucket of gasoline around that's splashing all over with a blowtorch in my other hand doing, you know, some blowtorch stuff. You know, it's very risky, but I'm like, how do I de-risk? How can I have a high quality problem? Because a high quality problem is simply, if you want to buy a hundred bucks worth of Apple stock, I would say diversify it over multiple weeks. And if you, you only buy 25 bucks worth and it goes up in value, you know, it's a high quality problem because you're making money. You didn't get it at the lower price, but you're making money. And if it goes down, you're, you're buying it cheaper. So you're making money that way because you're getting it at a discount. High quality problem. How do I do this with selling my bags? Because one of these times, my goal is to do it three more times, and then move on to another crypto. Um, I don't want to juggle too many because you have to watch it real closely. Um, so I have my sell prices and buy prices. But the problem is, is when you sell it, not when you buy it. Because if it goes too high, you know, I actually already have a sell price to initiate the sell. But if it keeps, um, bottom line is, if if it goes to, like, if you have your sell price set, you're fine. But once you sell it, you're trying to buy it back at a lower price. And if it keeps going up, you may never get that price, is what I'm saying, too high. And I want to own that. But I'm like, I've never had my ex liquidity from alts to buy XRP. So I'm like, you know what? If I sell that at the top of Bitcoin's range, expecting it to go down, like it has and has been, to the lower part, if it breaks through resistance and keeps going up I have a high quality problem because I've got my vet which I own a good amount not making money because I sold it 
but all my other stuff's going up. And how do I capitalize on this? Well, what I have to, um, I'm going to buy, you know, if, if, if it keeps going up in price and I don't get my buy price again, if it goes up 13% past my sell price, that in the trading range has been broken, that's when I'm going to use that as exit liquidity from my shit coins. And that's when I'll put it into XRP, even though XRP might be up 20%. But I'll buy, I'll, I'll put it in there because I think it's a, it's a certainty XRP, you know, in the near term. So the time value is there too. So ultimately, you know, I've already made 36% of my trades. So if I lose 12% on the way up or 20, it, I'm still up. But... It gives me my excuse to put it in XRP because I'm not going to buy it higher than I sold it for. You see what I'm saying? It's just a principle thing. Um, and I have so many XRPs, it's not going to affect my average cost. It'll be fractional. It won't change really the price at all. Just a, you know, maybe tenths of a cent, a tenth, tenth, a tenth of a cent or something, right? But so it's a high quality problem, and it gives me more XRP, which is why I'm even in this space. Everything else was just money, you know, so it, it's logical, you know. So the worst case scenario, you know, scenario would be if the first time I made this trade, it kept going up 12% because I didn't know the trading range. And then I had to, you know, shovel an XRP without making any kind of profit. But even there, I think I, I'm going to do better with XRP by losing that 12% than having it in VeChain. But I do think VeChain is a monster because of the logistics um, and the information. Information is priceless. So I'm not saying it's bad. What's up, honey? What are you doing? Pancakes. You want them for me? Thank you. I love you. Okay, get out of the smoky garage. I'm going to bed. You're going to bed. I love you. Um, my daughter slowing my life. Um, brought me pancakes. I didn't know she was up. Um, but anyways, so now this is why I'm liquidating my bags. Please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll give you another tip. What my biggest fear is. What's my biggest fear? <clears throat> Please come out. I think I'm falling. You're the only one I think is safe. Seems I found the road to nowhere. And I'm trying to escape. <clears throat> it's with all this judge stuff. What if the SEC doesn't settle and they just drop the case? The problem is, is that would be my biggest fear with XRP because they don't have their clarity. That's the most important thing to them. And that's why all these big institutions and banks didn't implement, you know, their technology and the native token XRP, you know, referencing Ripple, um, before that. And they still could sue again. So it puts us all the way back like two years behind, right? That's my biggest fear, and it could happen. That would be an evil thing for the SEC to do, but it's possible. So that's my big concern with that. That's why I hedge myself with garbage coins, or good coins, but comparatively speaking, to make money. Um, so that's my biggest fear. Um, I mean, I guess really that's it, you know? But my point is, is this. If you play this game, you got to be watching because the price moves fast. And if you sell at the top of the range and it keeps going, you might not be able to buy it back at you know, 16, 20% higher, you know, um, XRP with your, your money you made from your, your vet. It might move that fast. So it is risky, but call it taking some profits, you know, and not that you get them in your pocket. Because you're you're buying, I'm buying XRP with it, even if it's up 30, 40 percent at that point, because that was the purpose of selling to buy if you got liquidated, which would be li liquidated because not in the traditional term, but from purchasing, you had no money to purchase V chain anymore or whatever token you have because it went up in value and that's not an option. So you're liquidated and you took profits and you got to put somewhere. I'm putting an uncertainty XRP. Unless they drop the case. Price will still go up, but they drop the case. Watch that price and sell fast. Once it, you know, probably, you know, a lot of retail 
um, people that aren't informed, they'll think that's the same as winning. So the price could go up to all-time highs, but I'm telling you, I will be selling above $3, you know, and then knowing it's going to come back down to these levels. Remember that. Keep that in your heart. If it goes more higher than that, whatever. You de-risked. It's a high-quality problem. You made a bunch of money. You didn't make as much as you could, but it will drop back to these levels under a dollar if, if if the case is dropped. Just looking out. My dreamers, my roadies, like, subscribe.